What's going on guys? Welcome to Sonic Sounds and today we're going to talk about Logic's Auto Sampler. Now this is a super amazing feature that's already built into the ability of being able to use external instruments and this is really great because you don't have to carry your hardware since if you're a laptop producer you can just sample them and have the sounds ready whenever you want to use them. So what you do is you go to the external instrument and you set that up. I have a video on how to use your external instruments with Logic Pro. Just click here and you'll be able to see it. Basically you load it up under your utilities and then you go to external instrument you choose your keyboard and you choose where your input is coming in from as soon as you do that you'll be able to hear what your keyboard is playing now that's my external keyboard playing then you load up an instance of auto sampler and this is where the magic happens you tell it how long you want it to sustain the key for and record it what what range you want it to play and how often you want it to sample let's say you want it to sample every 10 keys you can do that every 10 semitones every five semitones let's do every six semitones and we'll just sustain it for two seconds so it does not take long all you have to do is hit sample choose where you want to save it and i will just call it yamaha instrument and it will start sampling each sound for two seconds Great, now the instrument is sample. Now you can also do multiple velocities. You can do 16 velocities. You can also do round robin. Round robin is where it takes multiple different samples of the instrument and then it will layer them and it will randomly trigger them. So now we have our external MIDI instrument recorded. So we'll just mute this, create a new MIDI track and then we will go to a sampler instance. And once you open sampler, you just go to load once you do that, you just open up where your sampler instrument was recorded at. You go to Yamaha instrument, you open it, and your external instrument is ready to be played. Now keep in mind, this is coming in from the samples that we dubbed on our keyboard. And this is going to be really good for people that own some of the Juno gear or some of the Moog hardware gear. They really like the bass samples. They like the synth samples. They want to be able to use it, but they are also traveling. They can't necessarily carry those things on them. It's a really easy way to use an external instrument, sample it, and have the samples on you. Once again, guys, if you have any questions, as usual, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you at the next one. And also, if you like the content, consider liking, subscribing, and share it with somebody who's going to find this useful. Cheers.